Well hello everyone, we've got the Essex Alliance League Division 4 back on for you today as West, es West Essex under 23s face off against Inter London FC. A nice day for it today, the sun is out, both sides are ready to go already. We expect a close game, West Essex under 23s have made a very good start to the season, won three out of their first three, scoring nine goals in the process yeah, 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 yeah. in case there's into london side yeah, won one and lost one so mixed start for them but goals probably guaranteed in this one too ball clipped along and cleared up by nahil salim at the back but dispossessed there and west essex all had half a chance there a minute and a half in Early chance for the home side. Good interception in the middle of the park and now into London can come away with it with Salam. His shot towards goal, not fully gathered and knocked, knocked home. Just six minutes in. Into London have taken the lead against the league leaders. Good interception in the middle of the pitch and a really good run by Nasser Salam. And you thought he might have gone all the way. I mean, it was parried out. Not convincing goalkeeping by Alex Peters in there and tucked home to give the away side the advantage. West Essex under 23s looking to try and get a response. Good play in the middle of the pitch, knocked out of play and into London can steady the ship. I don't, I don't think they may have expected to go ahead so easily and so convincingly in this first few minutes given how well West Essex have started the season but they're doing really, really well so far and here they come again. Odd vehicles that will go over overhead. There goes an aircraft. Uh, hopefully not disturbing anybody on the pitch. I don't think it's disturbing the Inter London attackers. And there's a good shot again at goal by Abdullah. Alex Peters equal to that one though. Good interception by Omar Jamal. And have a look at the effort again. I mean, it might have been a routine save for Alex Peters. He still had to get two hands to it. It was a good save, though. Into London. Do move the ball around nicely at the back. Here they come again, moving it forward now. Into the middle of the pitch on the halfway line. Pinball in the middle of the pitch now. Someone's got to try and bring it down. Good football. Now there's half a chance on this right hand side. Whipped into the middle now. No one there on the edge to potentially hit it. And West Essex and the 23s can clear. Good bit of feet by Miran Miran. He's making that overlapping run as well. They haven't used him. Tried to go down the centre. Intercepted though. Freddie Todd looking to bring it out for the team in black and white. I think that's going to go out for an Inter London throw on. It's a ride there. This will rise them to about fourth in the league if Inter London hang on to this lead and see out the victory. Of course, ideally, we'd be looking for a cushion to try and. Steady any nerves potentially in the latter stages of the game. Here they come again on this left hand side now. Good interception though. Good turn. And away come West Essex. Chipped in behind now and into London. Are in trouble, but Francis Hastings did quite well to be fair, making himself quite big. Chipped in behind, but he was really quick off his line, wasn't he, the goalkeeper, to close down the angle. Oh, 
plenty of options on the bench for into London too. I think we just saw Michael Williams in the corner of your picture. They've got five players on the bench to choose from. That might come in handy in the later stages of the game. Here they come on another attack with a great chance and a great save. Strong save by Alex Peters on his right foot. Keeps his side very much in it. 15 minutes gone. Oh, well done, you. Good defending at the back. Yeah, that's what I was saying. West Essex only have one player on the bench. Having five really might help in the later stages when ultimately Stamler kicks in and Francis Hastings once again quick of his line for into London knocks it out for a West Essex throw on. Have a look at that chance again. I mean, it's a lovely ball into the box and well met at the far post. Good save though by Alex Peters. Time and room to turn. They're looking for a bit of end product maybe. And it's a, a bit of a soft foul. A few complaints, but a free kick nonetheless. There's Matt Horan over it. That is well, well over the bar. Halfway through the first half. Still 1-0 to the away side. Good bit of feet on that right-hand side. Now played in behind and into London might be called into some defensive work and how about that for an interception Remind, reminded me of Marco Verratti for PSG that kind of interception and here come into London again looking to try and double their lead and just a final pass not quite there for them strong challenges they are pressing quite high are into London there's an option there on this right hand side just trying to find that final ball and there is that final ball and Nasser Salam knows he could have doubled their side's advantage double his side's advantage just goes narrowly wide having a look at that tackle again I mean it's a really good interception I mean might looking closely I mean maybe might have hit his arm on the follow through I mean that might be a bit harsh on the referee because of course he's got to keep his balance up but good play by Inter London overall mix up at the back and pull down in the, is that in the area penalty it is a real mix up there and it's a stone wall penalty to rent to level the game good penalty very cool very composed up into the top right corner and probably against the run of play you'd have to say West Essex have leveled the tie up I mean what a penalty that is even if Francis Hastings does get a bit higher he's still got a very difficult job saving that one on this left hand side now good chance good block decent defending by Selim floated high into the back post and it's off the crossbar and it's still not cleared and the follow up is over by and that's Gabrielle Moore over at the back at the far post great looping header and it's just off the crossbar and the left footed effort is well over the bar just coming up to the end of the first half now still 1-1 chance for into London but good defending at the far post again the referee blows for the end of the first half but let's get cracking into the second half lots to play for level in this game into London started the second half a little bit slow aesthetics at that early chance they started the first half grew into it they grew into the first half, I should say. Now here come West Essex looking to get foot on the ball. Kieran Funnell Christian sending it in towards the corner flag, but that is out of play. Decent throw on down the line. A bit of time to pick out an option, maybe. He does pick out an option in the middle of the pitch, middle of the area and there's a great chance great effort off the post and off 
Alex Peters, you can hear the reaction from the players. That was one superb effort. Oh, it was the inside of the post as well, and how that could have ricocheted off of Alex Peters. He was beaten all ends up. Great effort by Salem. I think the referee is going to go to his cards there, maybe. First year a card of the game. Twenty-five minutes to play. Still one-one. Here come into London again. We know what Salem can do from this range. We've already seen it once in this game, and here he goes again. The first time was nearly, but the second time is success. And Nasser Salem has put his side back in front. Potentially, probably worse than his first effort in terms of connection on the ball, but it was just the accuracy and. It just dribbled past Alex Peters. He was at full straight stride. His absolute all to get there. But into London have the lead once again. They can hang on to this and end the West Essex. Invincible start. And I mean, how about that for some play by Nabil Salam? Wins the ball back two times. Beats his man. Oh, it's getting a little bit nasty now. I think Nabil... Someone's just said something to Caden Seren. Referee's got maybe a little bit of a job to do here. It's been a nice game so far. We don't want any anything kicking off. And I think Mirren Mirren is getting involved as well. Just all needs to be diffused here. I think the referee is just overseeing everything. Can see him going to his pocket with his cards in his hand with his left hand and I think the manager for West Essex has just come over to defuse it all. Free kick nonetheless for into London. Nasser Salon we know how good he has been in this game so far. Simple one though for Alex Peters this time. Here he goes again Nasser Salon checking back onto his left foot. Strong challenge in there. Few complaints to the referee. Advantage still played. I think that's just on the edge of the box. A slight kick out. It's getting a little bit nasty now. You can see the frustration from the home side. Have a look at the initial challenge. Ooh, that doesn't look good, does it? And the follow up. Initially stepped in and a free kick. Oh, yeah, there was no intention really to play the ball. Still after that, Emmanuel Abdal is come. Oh, it is a penalty. It looked like it was on the edge of the box, but it's a penalty nonetheless, and it's blasted into the top right corner just like last time. Referee didn't point to the spot there. It's quite hard to spot from this camera angle, whether or not that was a penalty, but a penalty was given. And now into London, have a cushion. And surely they will go on to win this game. You have to excuse me missing the penalty. I mean, from my angle, of course, the referee's got a better angle. It looked like a penalty from my eyes, but there, there goes the final whistle, and it ends here. Into London 3, West Essex 1.